In 1920s, China was represented by Beiyang government in Beijing. However, there was another government in Gwangju in the south that was established by Sun Yat-sen. But the jurisdiction of these two governments were limited to the surrounding areas of the capitals. And uh, China was divided into regional provinces that the warlord ruled. Sun Yat-sen was about to set out the northern expedition that uh, he would conquer the northern part of China and unite the entire China. But he died of liver cancer in 1925. Chang Kai-shek succeeded him and uh, he started the northern expedition. It was largely successful uh, because people were very supportive of Chiang Kai-shek. At the time, uh, the people were fed up with warlords who exploited them for their own goods. Chiang Kai-shek uh, took Wu Huan and he was working on Nanjing. In the meantime, Wang Jingwei, who was the leftist in Kuomintang, set up government in Wuhan and moved the capital of Kuomintang government in Gwangju to Wuhan. And he conspired to arrest Chiang Kai-shek with a communist that included Comintern uh, from Soviets. Toward the end of the Northern Expedition, Zhou Wenlai and the Communist Labor Union in Shanghai took over uh, Shanghai and they were waiting for welcoming uh, National Revolutionary Army Kuomintang uh, came into uh, Shanghai and uh, took over Shanghai. Uh, but uh, Chiang Kai-shek found out the plot that Wang Jingwei was trying to arrest him with the communists. So he decided to crack down on the communists in Shanghai. And uh, he uh, let uh, gangsters in Shanghai set up opposing union. And uh, the crackdown began, the gangsters attack uh, on the Communist Party uh, Labor Union in Shanghai. Up to 10,000 uh, people were get killed and it happened on April 12, 1927, and it was called Shanghai Massacre. Originally, Lenin and Comintern advocated revolution by laborers in the industrialized city. But the purge of communists by Chiang Kai-shek in China transformed revolution uh, from the city laborers to countryside farmers. The communists began to flee uh, to the countryside. Eventually, Mao set up a uh, Chinese Soviet in Changji province. But the Mao uh, in Changji, a uh, Chinese Soviet, could not defend Chiang Kai-shek's attack. And uh, they decided to move out of Changji and embark uh, the famous Long March in 1934. Even though uh, Chiang Kai-shek could not eliminate completely the power of warlords in different areas, he finished Northern Expedition in June of 1928. China was largely united for the time being. In 1904, Japanese won the war against Russia and uh, they took over Russian interest in Manchuria. Japanese managed the railroad in Manchuria and adjacent areas and the Guangdong Army of Japan uh, was deployed in the area. Korea was annexed by Japan in 1910 and Koreans were subjects of Japan. And uh, Japan encouraged Koreans, Korean farmers, uh, move to Manchuria 
uh, to cultivate rice for Guangdong army. There was a small village named Wanpao Shan, 18 miles north of Changchun in Manchuria. Koreans subleased some of the land in the town to cultivate rice. Rice farming needed a lot of water. So Koreans uh, started to uh, dig the ditches from the Itung Li River uh, to the land through the Chinese-owned land. The ditch was several kilometers long and uh, the land that ditch was going through was not leased by Koreans but it was owned by Chinese. Chinese landowners uh, went to the local authorities to stop Koreans uh, digging the ditches and the uh, Koreans went to Japanese consular police uh, to help them. So uh, the e e both sides decided to investigate the matter. But uh, before the investigation began, Chinese farmers uh, attacked Koreans uh, with agricultural uh, tools and spikes. Then Japanese uh, consular police came in and fired rifles. However, there was no death or the casualties uh, in both sides. But uh, Japanese officials gave Korean reporters uh, wrong information. They told them uh, that uh, Chinese farmers killed a lot of Koreans and inflicted a lot of injuries. The sensationalized report filled the front page of newspapers in Korea. The riots in Chinatown and major cities of Korea broke out and uh, many Chinese were killed and injured, and the shops and restaurants in Chinatown were burnt down, and basically many Chinatowns in Korea were leveled. Now, a Chinese revenge against Koreans began in China. In the city of Jilin, uh, bordered by North Korea and Russia, Chinese massacred 10,000 Koreans and looted many uh, Korean homes. Then uh, Japanese moved the troops uh, from uh, Korea to Manchuria to protect Koreans against Chinese attack. Japanese justified the movement of troops into the foreign territory by saying that we had to protect our citizens, uh, meaning Koreans. The series of events happened in July of 1931, and the Japanese were getting ready to invade Manchuria by manufacturing the reason for the troop movement uh, into Manchuria from Korea. On September 18, 1931, Japanese detonated dynamite on the rain ray near Mukden. It was very weak explosion and the rain ray was not damaged much and in fact the train uh, could run the railway without any problem not long after the explosion. However, Japanese blamed the Chinese did all of this and the full scale invasion started. Japanese uh, did not meet any substantial resistance by uh, China uh, because the Kuomintang government and Chiang Kai-shek did not want to engage into the full-scale war against Japan at the time. He uh, stick to the policy that uh, he uh, would take care of communism first and then uh, should engage in the war against the foreign invasion. In 1934, Japan uh, created Manjukuo, the Empire of Manchuria, a puppet state of uh, Japanese Empire. The emperor was the Pui, 
uh, who was the last emperor of Qing dynasty. Japanese invasion of Manchuria uh, made uh, Kuomintang government in Chiang Kai-shek uh, to be very suspicious of Koreans uh, because um, Koreans appeared to be sided with the Japanese. The Korean provisional government in Shanghai uh, did not uh, have any support uh, from Lenin already and uh, they could not seek any help from Kuomintang government in China either. And uh, Kim Gu uh, came up with a great idea.